In year 9, I was at the bottom of set 2 for GCSE Science. In year 11, I was at the top of set 1, competing for first place in the whole year group in GCSE Science. I'm better. I am better. If after this video, you don't get a grade 9 in, G in GCSE Science, you must be in set 5 or something, G. I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Spencer, man. Before we get started with this video, make sure to follow my Instagram at SpencerCamini underscore for daily motivation and inspiration. Also, I'm coming up with a free, a free video guide on how to properly revise and use Anki. So I'll notify you guys when that free video guide is out, right? It's gonna be like a, a whole detailed course on like skill set or something. But I'll let you guys know when it's out. It's gonna be completely free. Also, I'm working on an ebook titled The Grind Factor, which goes through like three habits that I used to go from below average to somewhat above average, all right? But I'll let you guys know when that's out. And last but not least, if you need any resources, check out my website at www.spencercameni.com. All right, number one, what is the first thing that you need to do to get a grade nine in GCSE science? You need to, first of all, cover the whole specification all right, you need to cover the whole specification and turn your weaknesses into strengths. So what do I mean? Because some of you guys are going to be like, I'll tell you what I mean, right? You need to, okay, first of all, go through the whole specification, right? You need to know everything. You need to know what's going to be on your exam paper. You need to know what kind of questions are going to be asked. If you don't know your, if you don't know what exam you're doing right now, I can't like you're screwed. All of you, all of you must know, like what exam you're doing, such as AQA, Edexcel. If you don't know what exam you're doing, I don't know what you're doing, fam. Like you're not getting a grade nine, alright? So first of all, okay, you guys must know what your exam is, right? So what do you wanna do? You wanna go onto Google, search up GCSE AQA biology uh, specifications you want to go through the whole specification and make sure you know everything and you want to repeat that for for each individual science and this works for both um separate sciences and combined sciences all right so you you need to go through the whole specification next you need to turn all of your weaknesses into strengths like how, like when you're doing, when you're going into the exam hall, right? You shouldn't be scared of any topic that could be coming up. Cause I, I remember back in the day, back in year eleven, I used to be scared of certain topics, such as photosynthesis. But then I turned that into my strength, and then I was ready for it. So you can't be scared of any topic, all right? You need to be comfortable. You need to be comfortable and you need to be able to to tackle any question on any topic number two this links to the the first point but in order to learn everything on the specification you want to memorize and understand everything and to understand everything the, the best method that i've used to understand everything are uh, one watching videos and two making flashcards or buying flashcards that contain all of the information in videos that you have watched and the specification Sp oh spencer what do i mean what do i mean this is what i mean right if you don't understand a topic watch videos on that topic and learn the topic if you don't under, if you, and if you still don't understand the topic go to your teacher and ask them for help 
I've said it many times in many other videos, but some of you guys are scared to ask your teacher for help. Like, like you be you be in class, you be in class, like just like this, man. You be in class, just like this. Like you don't you don't, you don't understand anything that's going on, and you're just like this. <laughs> hey, bro, if you don't understand anything, ask your teacher for help, bro. You can't just be sat there looking like a fool, G. Staying quiet, fam. Trying to act cool. You can't be acting cool, G. Like, you, you gotta be humble. You know what I'm saying? If you need help, ask your teacher for help. Because it will benefit you in the long run. But yeah, as I was saying, you need to watch videos if you don't understand the topic. Watch videos, then go to your teacher for help. There's one channel that I would recommend um watching videos from to get a grade nine in science and that channel is um it's simply free science lessons that's like that's like a greater channel to get a grade nine so this is what you have to do watch all of their videos make flashcards on all of their videos and on the specification for the specification you can also you can also revise from that like the specification contains um detailed information and specific information to your exam board that in the specifications there's often certain answers to certain questions that they always ask such as they might ask you for the equation for photosynthesis this will be in the specification the exact the exact equation so yeah go through the whole specification watch videos and make flashcards on both of them. Then go through the go through the flashcards and learn everything. Don't don't use Quizlet. Use Anki. Use Anki flashcards, fam. Anki. This this is why I like Anki over Quizlet. Anki uses an AI interface, which incorporates uh, spaced repetition. Alright. So if you review a card. You can then rank it on how easily you manage to answer it, right? So you can rank it either easy, medium, or hard. And based on whatever option you pick, Anki will then tell you to go through the flashcard again within a certain number of days, alright? So use Anki, go through the whole, go through all of the flashcards. Once you rank every flashcard easy, you're getting a grade nine. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, fam. So yeah. Um, use the specification and watch videos and then make flashcards on both of them. Number three, number three, you need to know all of the numeric and math skills that you might be te uh, tested on in the exam. So this includes knowing all of the formulas and knowing all of the equations that you have to they have to be able to apply to certain questions. It also includes being able to do any graph questions, such as drawing a line of best fit. And it does, it does involve knowing all of the math skills available. And this is probably in your specification anyway, but if not, you can simply go to your teacher and ask them for a list of all of the math skills that you have to know. If you do everything that I've told you to do, you're gonna grade eight minimum. You're gonna grade eight. I mean, you're gonna grade seven minimum. To get the grade eight and nine, this is what you have to do. You have to do all of the exam papers ever asked before in, in AQA. To get a grade eight or nine, do all of the exam papers that have ever been set by AQA. Do all of them from like 2010 onwards. Do all of the year's exam papers. What I'd recommend, yeah, do do the first three tips that I've told you, I've told you to do. So you cover the whole specific, do all of that, right? Know all of the content. Then after do exam papers, find find more weaknesses and make them your strengths. And then and then go through all of the exam papers. And by the time you by the time you've done um t this year is 2023. By the time you've done 2022 exam paper, you'll be getting 90%. I'm telling you. You'll be getting ninety percent, all right. So yeah, but do all of that and and you're getting a grade nine, fam. Like I said at the start of the video, 
If you don't get a grade nine, then you must be in set five. You must be in set five, fam. All right. If you grind, you'll succeed. If you do nothing, you'll stay the same, G. All right. Stay cold, man. Stay cold.